level of success. First, there's the Category 1 trader, or as we might cheekily call them, the Wall Street Bets YOLOer. These traders surf the waves of public sentiment, often basing their strategies on the most upvoted posts on forums like Wall Street Bets. Their approach bears a striking resemblance to gambling, hinging more on chance than careful analysis. They consistently shed money, yet never seem to glean wisdom from their blunders. Instead, they point fingers at the market makers for allegedly rigging the game. Recognizing the futility of this approach, I moved up a notch to become a Category 2 trader, the independent systematic trader. This breed of traders often stems from the ashes of Wall Street bets YOLOers who learn the hard way that following the herd is a recipe for disaster. These traders keep meticulous trade journals using introspection to refine their future strategies. They embrace technology, leveraging APIs for efficient trading, yet when the market throws a curveball, they can still fall prey to emotionally charged decisions leading to regret when the market eventually regains its footing. Many throw in the towel at this stage, disheartened by the lack of profits, but for the tenacious few who persist, they metamorphose into the final category, the algorithmic trader. These traders don't just use computers to execute their trades, they use them to formulate their strategies. They have a firm grasp on strategy optimization, know how to avoid overfitting, and understand how to make their strategies applicable across scenarios. They appreciate that a rigorous systematic approach is the key to outsmarting the market. They backtest to validate their hypotheses and resort to paper trading once they believe they've gained an edge. They remain unfazed when their portfolio takes a hit because they know it's mathematically impossible 